G'day, it's Rob here again. Uh, we're having a bit more bad weather, so I thought I'd kill time, do another video. And this one I'll show you uh, a way to save money. Um, <laughs> if there's a way to save money, I'm always out for it. And uh, this is a way to direct drive um, something without spending any cash. And uh, say you've got a, I mean, this is a little Linisher I've got, and it's direct driven off of a, uh, a Chinese electric motor here. It's got the correct coupling, I mean this is the commercially made coupling um, which is a sort of a universal joint that uh, you can buy these. I happen to have these in some um, gear I picked up so I use those but you know when you go to drive something with an electric motor or a petrol motor um, you know up to say mm, one and a half horsepower um, you can use belts but then you can have belts and pulleys you've got to get them from somewhere. You can buy a coupling like this and direct drive it, and uh, you've got to buy those or have them. So once again, it's all dough. Um, but there is a cheap way to do it, and uh, all you need is an old car. And uh, get out your spanners, get in there, and there's one part in the car that um, works pretty good for jobs like this. And uh, as I said, um, yeah, all you need is an old wreck. And... Uh, um, Get into it and you can uh, direct drive without spending any cash at all. So I'll show you the bit. Okay, well here's the bit we want. And what it is, for those people that haven't guessed, um, it's a steering shaft. Um, it's the universal joint out of a steering shaft. Um, all cars from about the 70s on have got uh, collapsible steering shafts and as part of that setup they invariably use a, a coupling um, this one would have had two. Um, this one would have had a, a pin type coupling down the bottom where the uh, facing plate would come up against this and there'd be two pins coming through with a, a composition uh, disc between them. And they're, a, they're a, uh, a type of universal joint but they're not a very... Um, they don't give you a lot of movement but you could at a pinch use that section but this is the, the best way to, to, uh, to use it. The part we really want is to take out this section here which is a uh, an enclosed um, section which has a, a, a T-piece through it and a little trunnion or there's a trunnion bearing on each end and they basically can move in and out up, up and down these chambers so it will go in and out and it will also let you pivot so you can get 360 degree uh, movement on those so this, these are ideal and um, you know, you've only got to think about how much pressure you're putting on a steering wheel when you're driving. There's a lot of load guys on a car steering shaft just driving the vehicle. That's why they use steel, you know, this diameter steel shaft. Otherwise, you know, they'd go a lot lighter. So these things are quite strong. They can take a lot of force. And uh, for anything up to, say, one and a half horsepower, they're plenty strong enough. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you where I use one, and it will give you just a few ideas on the sort of jobs you can use them on. So stay tuned. Right, well here's where I used one, uh, you can see it down here, it's uh, a homemade mulcher, a really basic, quick and dirty homemade mulcher, and it's all made out of an old, one of those old similar lawnmowers that people chuck out, and I picked it up, it's got a one horsepower motor, drives through the shaft into a rotary cutter, and it's just uh, a simple hopper that you just feed your uh, broad bean stems and stuff down and uh, munch them up. And uh, there's the, the steering shaft, the universal joint. And uh, I've used this for oh, probably five or six seasons and it's gone perfectly good. There's no slop in that, even after all that work. There's no slop, it's all as good as gold. It took the beating, no problems at all. And uh, if we zoom in on it, you can get a, a bit better look. And uh, yeah, it's certainly strong enough to do this sort of duty. So. That's a one horsepower motor, as I said, and uh, it uh, it's good enough to uh, to spin that uh, that cutter over and uh, do the job. So there you go. Simple way to uh, make something up where you don't want to spend any money. Um, all you need is an old Ute or a car. Get that section out of it and uh, weld it up, and uh, you're good to go. 
once again, when you make up stuff like this, you know, well, <laughs> you probably won't meet the off health and safety standards, but uh, yeah, well, um, just be careful how you build stuff. But uh, certainly, that uh, is quite strong, and uh, it's a, a cheap way to uh, to build something up. Okay, hope that helps. See you next time. Cheers.